Hi, I'm Heather. I'm one of the systems engineers here at Pessler. In this video, we are going to look at the SNMP custom sensors and the SNMP library sensor. In doing this, I will show you how to import MIBs into PRTG and how to use the OIDs in those MIBs to create SNMP custom and SNMP library sensors. Our website contains several resources to help you gain an understanding on how PRTG uses SNMP but I do want to explain to you what an OID is and what a MIB is in case you haven't worked with them before. MIB stands for Management Information Base, which is basically a collection of definitions that define the properties of the managed object within the device to be managed. That's a mouthful. OIDs are object identifiers in the MIB. Every object has its own identifier, so to simply put it, the MIB is composed of lots of OIDs. In our custom SNMP sensors, you will manually add the OIDs to the sensor settings. But for the SNMP library sensor, you will import the MIB using our MIB importer tool, and it will automatically populate the OIDs into the sensor for you. We have five SNMP custom sensors, and then there's the one SNMP library sensor. The SNMP library sensor is actually not a sensor type itself. It doesn't appear to be running as a sensor called the SNMP library. This sensor matches the OIDs from the MIB and creates each of the custom sensors for you. All right, now that we went through all that, let's sit down and take a look at some of these. All right, let's look at some examples in PRTG. The, one of the first things we need to do is actually download our MIB importer. Where you can do that is on our website, go to Product, Free Tools, MIB Importer. So let's click on that. It's a free download. So make sure you download it on your server. Also here you're going to see is our MIB importer manual. That has all the documentation that you need to walk you through what we're going to be doing as well. Once you have the MIB importer downloaded, let's go here into downloads. You're going to want to extract, but I double clicked a little too fast. So let's extract it and then run it. It's more helpful, I find, if you do put the MIB importer on your PRTG server. You don't necessarily have to, but it's, it's a little bit smoother for when you want to add your OID libs to PRTG. Okay, now I have that installed. Let me open the MIB importer. So we're going to do two things today. The first one, I'm going to import a MIB and then we're going to make an SNMP library sensor. Then I'm going to show you how to do a custom sensor from that. So let's do File, Import MIB. I have my MIBs on the website here. I'm going to take a look at Synology MIBs right now. You do get your MIBs from your manufacturer. And here, once you click on Import, it does say here in this log, Import Successful and it will show you how many OIDs that are useful for PRTG. There are from time to time, you do get MIBs from manufacturers and it doesn't work. Sometimes you do have to go into the MIB itself, open it up with Notepad, because there's sometimes a typo in it, a bracket or parenthesis or something missing, so you may have to manually intervene. In a perfect world, it runs as smooth as this all the time, but just know sometimes it may take a little bit. So that was my read one. Let me see what else I want to. Let's do a disk MIB. And I'm going to import one more. We'll do the smart MIB. So you can see you can do as many MIBs as you want. And once you come through here with the MIB importer, you can expand and you can see all the different fields that we have. And once I select on it here, I'm looking at the, the smart info for for a name. You could see here it's the type, it's a table column, and then you see that OID that I talked about in the beginning of the video. The OID is very important and you can see the type, it's a string OID. So as we go through, you could decide what you want to do in your OID lib that you want to put into PRTG. So I'm going to say file and I'm going to enable partial selection. So this is allowing me to pick the ones that I want to put into my OID lib file for my SNMP library sensor. You could do the whole thing, you could do part of it. So let's just pick a few here. I'm going to say File, Save Partial Selection As, 
and then I'm going to just call this Synology Partial and say save. Now I'm going to go back into Windows Explorer. I forgot to put it where I want it on the website. So let's go and save that again. Save partial selection. Oh, it did go into my example here. So I can cancel that out because I did find where I put it. So make sure you know the path where your OID lib file is. I typically like to save them to the desktop, but sometimes you know how Windows goes and where your files go. So it's always going to be the OID lib file. Let's copy and paste that into our directory. So that will be on your PRTG server. Go into the C drive, program files, PRTG network monitor, and then you're going to go to SNMP libs. So I'm going to right click and paste my file in there. You might have to give your administrator permission such as that, and I'm going to see that's called Synology Partial. So now let's go back to PRTG. I'm going to go into my web interface. Here we go. And I created a group here with custom sensors and I already added my Synology device. So now we're going to say add sensor. Remember, this one's going to be the SNMP library sensor. Now, you're never going to actually find a sensor type after we add this called SNMP library sensor because depending on the type of custom sensor it was, it's going to break it down and you'll see that in a minute. So now I have to select my library file. That's that OID lib file that we copied in. Let's scroll down and I call that Synology partial. Let's say OK. And you're seeing it's going to prepare the sensor settings. Now I'm going to let me get rid of these boxes down here. Now these are all those OIDs um, that I selected in there. There's quite a few. Now this one's a little bit more than normal because I'm giving you an example. I want to show you a lot. So I'm going to come down here and say let's do a couple of these. And you can see I have 16 pages worth. So, you know, most of the time you'll probably keep it to a little bit less. And let's say create that I selected the selections that I wanted. And now you're going to see it created a number of sensors in here for each one I selected. I'm going to hit scan now. It takes a minute for PRTG to pull it and come back. But you'll notice that once I come in here, now it's green, so that's a good sign. It's always working. Even though I added the SNMP library sensor, you see here it's an SNMP custom string sensor because that OID returns a string value. Let's come down here. This is a table. It's an SNMP custom table sensor because it returned a table value. So it will always break down. Sometimes you'll find that when you do add the OIDs, they might be the SNMP custom advanced sensor. It all depends on what the OID reads back. Okay, so now that we made the SNMP custom library sensor, which we saw how it breaks down the multiple sensors, let's just take a look at how to make just one SNMP custom sensor. So we're going to use our Synology for example again, but I want to go back into the MIB importer to show you where to get the OID from. So let's go. We're going to open and I'm going to use my, let's see, Synology. I have an OID lib in there already. And let's break it down and look at temperature here because it's a single value, which is what the SNMP custom sensor is. And let's grab that OID. Let's copy that and go back in the PRTG to my device. So let's say add sensor this time. And let's type in and find the SNMP custom sensor. And grab that in here. So you could give the sensor a name. So we'll just call it, let's see, temperature. I'm going to paste my OID that I just copied. You could give it a channel name here. So I could say temperature, call it there. 
and you could give it a unit string if you want, if you want to give it a number, Celsius, Fahrenheit, whatever it might be. So I'm going to give it Fahrenheit. We'll see what it comes up with because sometimes we can't control actually the measurement variable if it is Fahrenheit or Celsius. That's another video and another topic one day. Let's say create. It's saving the sensor. Let's go in and refresh. And it comes back and it's 46 degrees. So it has your value. It's right now the minimum, maximum. So you can see it's returning one value. One thing to keep in mind though, um, if you do ever want to have more than one OID in a custom sensor, that's where you'll go ahead and use your custom advanced sensor because you can have up to 10 values in there, 10 OIDs. So I hope you enjoyed this video on SNMP, the custom sensors, and also the SNMP library sensor. I know there's a lot of information in this, but it's a good way to extend PRTG beyond the out of the box with these sensors because it's almost the sky's limits or the MIBs you're able to get a hold of from your manufacturers is really your limit, but beyond what we have. If you find this video helpful, feel free to like it and consider watching our other videos on our channel. If you still have questions, please contact support at Pestler.com. And always feel free to comment for feedback or suggestions for other topics. Thank you.